Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Charisma level 4 take me as I am, a lowly pagan. Where can I learn of his I will- I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall, and God's servant, the Bishop Aylesworth, was mighty in Find the answer to the Christian test. Find the answer to the Christian test. Resurrection story, press B close, at his tomb the earth shook and an angel appeared asking them. Resurrection story. Baptism story, the river. press B. So a gentle wash brings them closer to their God. Find the answer to the Christian test. Revelation their God story, brings them light, press B. Just as Balta does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Charisma level 4 take me as I, his face shone, he was cleansed in the river. God breathed on the water and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. His face shone like the sun. They did not find him when they looked. His face shone like the sun. On the mountain his face shone like the sun and he became light. His transfiguration. They did not find him when they looked. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Your God fears death as mine do. It was, you have a fine skill for drop, it was- I learned that my guards and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke is a member of the Order as well. Hmm. The wolves biting at my skirts grow craftier by the day. 
How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. Your god is not strong enough. Why would- You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances, when I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. If I made it easy for them, they might even return Sigurd to me. I would return him to you myself. If I knew where they were holding him. But Fulke's treachery has blindsided me as well. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. Reach Goodwin's house. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Are you spying on me? Scarpa, she's on to us. Uh. Reach Goodwin's ah. house. Investigate Goodwin's house. <laughs> Investigate Goodwin's house. A half Papers burned letter. in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. Broken bowls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Best not to draw attention here.
Survey the area, Sunan. Find and rescue Goodwin. The other side must be barred. Well now. Find and rescue Goodwin. Find and rescue Goodwin. Strike for Christ! Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Find and rescue Goodwin. Find and rescue Goodwin. and rescue Goodwin. Reeves Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. 
a husband and wife to be carried out soon. Find and rescue Goodwin. against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? Find and rescue Goodwin. Find and rescue Goodwin. <laughs> Find and rescue Goodwin. in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. 
They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes the CX is dead. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. Alfred believes the six. What can you tell? One calls himself the Quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. Alfred believes th what what the gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice, and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester. Executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Ways, taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Let us go to the from Urum Brocken. Stupid Wallan! Do face the Nianunga! For dangers of Delphia! Don't see the real big that can't face the world! Where are to Wilma? Good people of Winchester! Open your eyes! See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aelfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Between his Swickland moves. Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. And Alfred has set the traps. Selwyn punishes criminals, as it should be. He's the worst criminal of them all. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edicts. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the goodly people? Perverter of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. 
Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. See what he has found on the quill. Why does Alfred not do something? Selwyn's bloodlust will doom us all. My own power and position. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. Find and speak to Goodwin. What is that? What is that boy doing all the way up there? King Alfred, he'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Find and speak to Goodwin. Spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what you asked. Do I will- It may be I should take my Dane guild now, leave you to the snakes that remain. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avon? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. 
Feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Money, I have money for you. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah, now we can always pay our respects. Question the children about the quill. God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dong in Malvern again. Cast about this lamp, my friend. Find and speak to the girl. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Attack something, Hog Ugly. I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? You Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? What did you steal? What is so important that you would risk his little neck for it? Keep your sticky beak out of our business. Whose business? The quills? Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us.
Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Find and assassinate the quill. Find and assassinate the quill. Find and assassinate the quill. I should watch out for a mousetrap. today. Help! I like the pretty things. But Magister Battis' stealing is wrong. I'm going to marry King Alfred. And he's gonna whisk me away from all this toil. Everyone died. And left me alone on the streets. Find and assassinate the quill. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. Find and assassinate the quill. Find and assassinate the quill. that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! No! Shit! <laughs> Elf, may your roof Mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, 
I won't. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Abilities, Inventory, World Hold a fast travel Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinspain, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. 
I could use someone like you. What does a reeve do? This mead tastes... Your English mead, Goodwin. It tastes like cat piss. In Mercia, we would drink ten times this, and feast till our names were forgotten and our britches were lost to the forest. Does that happen? As often as possible. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you certain the CX is d My reward will ease my hurt. A reward will ease my hurt. As much silver as a long ship can carry. All in good time. A Witten has been called to deal with our dead bishop. When this business is done, Alfred will shower you with silver. Are you sure the Six is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Avor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. But whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. meal, then here should be the proof. Did you know Bishop Alpha? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aelfa, scorched of face, all your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh, sleeping. Oh, perfect, yes. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Where is your friend? I, what? What about the Bishop Aelfirth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Leof? Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. I'm sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me, but I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him, more than a sister should. Lord Grant, my brother Aylfer, Such a grisly fate. Bliss. Did you know Aylfer? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a Witten. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. Charisma level 4, I believe your brother's... I will leave you in peace. I will leave you in peace, then. 
you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Only his head and neck are burned. Is this what Wemba meant? That they stole his friend's face? And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. Are we friends now? Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. Charisma level 4 at your... We both know your brother's faith was a cloak of lies. He used your guard's words for his own ends. Who are you to judge a man of faith? You, a Dane who believes in giants and wolves that eat the sun? Be gone. What's this? Get away from me, demon! Guards, protect me! Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where's your brother, the one they call the Seeks? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Find and assassinate the Seers. <gasps> Super rooted as. Find and assassinate the Seers. Damned. Need to get on the other side. Find and assassinate the Seers. In the past, Anglo the Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Kill the Seers. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. 
And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is Ow. dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education. Wisdom. Enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. Kill the Seax. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss... Hey! Nice! How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He was not a true Christian. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. <laughs> 